Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Corbin Hubler. For today, I'm going to be painting this guy in gouache. He is a mer creature that I designed. He's based off of a flame, a, a dwarf flame angelfish. I believe that's what they're called. Uh, they've got a lot of really cool reds and oranges and some electric blue. And I'm going to put in the ears and stuff and some black patterns and they look really cool. So I'm going to probably do a little quick sketch over here so I can figure out the color palette and then I'll jump into this and I'll stick it on time lapse and then I'll probably narrate through it and you know let you know my process. So yeah, let's get started. Here I'm just doing, like I said, the color study. I'm making sure that all the colors work and all the values are working that's going on in my brain. I'm thinking of will work. I just want to make sure that they actually will. So that's what the color study is for. So here I'm just blocking in the local color of the character, which is, well, that's not the local color, but a color that's similar to the local color. So that way that if I don't, you know, unintentionally, if I don't paint like a small area, the gray doesn't bleed through the paint, it's actually the red. And then now I'm going in and I'm blocking in all the major shadows and I'm laying it darker mostly darker than what it actually will be because it's easier to go lighter with the gouache. I mean, well, it's easy both ways. You can go light to dark or dark to light, but the gouache, that's one of the reasons I like it. So this is just the way I'm doing it. I'm establishing a nice dark value and then I'm working my way to the lighter values. You can work, you know, both ways. Both ways work just fine. I just happened to do it this way for this one. I'm going in, working through all the forms, getting the lights in, working my way up to the highlights, pushing the darks, getting the eye in. And then I'm going in with this black and note it's not a black black, it's more of a purple blue, quote unquote black, because you don't want to go in with a black just straight out of the tube black because it'll just not only will it you know it'll be too contrasting especially with this but it's it's better if you mix a black with the color harmony it, it works a lot better and then I went in and I you know mixed a lighter value of it with a little bit of a yellow tint to go through the forms of it and then now I'm just going in and putting the blue markings in which I definitely wanted the blue because it would help contrast against the orange red that's going on through the piece and it helped break up those colors so that's that's one of the big reasons that I put it in I mean it's also on the actual fish that I'm basing this off of, but you know it looks really cool too I just went in and I put the highlight in the sketch first because I wanted to make sure that the value was correct because if it was too too bright of a highlight then it would probably your eye would probably go to that immediately and you know it would always go to that so I wanted to make sure that the value was correct that your eye could still move through the piece comfortably but still have that highlight and I wanted to make sure that where it was you know the placement of it worked and then I put the highlights in here throughout the rest of the piece just to make everything pop. So here it is finished. I like how it came out. I like the colors I got. I like the, I think the forms came out pretty good. I like the paper actually. This is the first time I've used this mixed media gray paper and it worked pretty good. So I'm going to be doing two more of these, two more videos of these. One of the characters is based off a of beta fish and the other is based off of a box fish. 
So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up down in the description below. Make sure to check out my my print shops. I have a Redbubble shop and a Society6 shop. I also have an Instagram, to make, so make sure to go check that out. I post a lot more of my art on my Instagram account. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.